Hello, Bishop Moore Catholic. I know it's been a little bit of time since we last saw you before spring break. And I unfortunately know it's gonna be a little bit more time before I see you again. As principal, I want to share with you some of my thoughts and also some of my confidence in us as a school community. You know, our spirits are undaunted. Our hearts are ever bold. These are the things that define us as a community. Bishop Moore Catholic, simply because we are away from each other physically, doesn't mean that we are away from each other spiritually or as a community of support. We are here for you and we will continue to be here for you in whatever shape or form. We do this out of a love for you as a community and a love for one another as people of faith. At Bishop Moore Catholic, we are identified by who we are, not where we are. And it is because of that faith that we identify ourselves with how we love and care for one another. That is really who we are as a faculty, a staff, an administration, parents, students, and alumni. It is Bishop Moore Catholic. I assure you that our mission will remain to develop ourselves and our students, both spiritually and academically. We will not lose sight of that mission during this time that we are away from each other. It is unprecedented. I have been a part of the Bishop Moore Catholic community for 20 years, and I can tell you we have not been here before. And I can also tell you that I can't predict the future of where we may be in the days and weeks ahead. We will rise to our motto of virtus et scientia, virtue and knowledge. We will continue our instruction with our students. We will continue in our outreach with one another. And we will continue to place our hope and trust in our God. I am praying for you, but I'm not the only one. Blessings, Bishop Moore Catholic. Just wanting to send you my love and my prayers. I know this time is full of a lot of changes, a lot of adjustments, literally by the minute. Um, perhaps it's a time of fear and anxiety for some of you. Remember, in the midst of all of this, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if I can encourage you to do anything during this time, it's to draw closer to Him, put priorities straight in your life. Know that my my heart, my thoughts, my prayers are with you and your family and for your protection. Love you. Hey, Bishop Moore. I know that these feel like uh, really uncertain times, and I know that it's easy to look at everything that's going on and be worried about what the future holds. But um, I got to tell you, from from me and my family, and from all the people I know that are working really hard. For you, um, I'm ready, and I'm ready to get through this with all of you. Um, you're all very important to me, everyone from the band to the kids in my class to the kids in the hallway that just say hey to me sometimes. Um, I'm ready to do whatever it takes to make this school year work all the way through to the end, and I'm ready to do whatever it takes for my Bishop Moore family that I've been a part of since 1999. So just want to let you all know I'm thinking about you, I'm praying for all of you, and I can't wait to see you all in person again one day. And for now, you're just going to have to deal with some videos of me giving lectures and maybe a live stream or two. We're more than prepared for this. You're all going to be great. And we love you all. God bless. Good afternoon, Bishop Moore Catholic High School students. This is Mr. Manchon, and I just wanted to send out a short message to let you know that we are thinking about each and every one of you during this crazy time. During this time, I ask that you please take the necessary precautions to take care of yourselves and your families. Your health and well-being are our biggest concerns might be asking yourself, what is there to do? Well, I've come up with a few ideas. Climb a tree. Rake leaves. Go for a bike ride. Start a project. Exercise. Go rollerblading. 
read a good book. Go fishing. Play a game. Your mental health is just as important, so make sure you are staying active. Now to close, the most important thing is that you take care of yourself. And in the words of one of Bishop Moore's all-time greats, Coach Dave Wheeler, let's all cowboy up. God bless. I wanted you to know about my prayers for the Bishop Moore community. When I pray, I pray with expectation, knowing that I will receive an answer. Sometimes not every answer that we get is the one that we wanted, but rather the one the Lord intends. When David was delivered from his enemies, he wrote a song to the Lord. His song consisted of praise. Although this may seem hard to grasp right now in our nation's current situation, it is important to continue to be grateful for all that is good. In 2 Samuel chapter 22, David sings that God is his rock, fortress, and deliverer. He later sings that God is his strength and power and makes his way perfect. We should all be reminded at this time that we should continue to pray. Pray for each other and pray together. We should pray knowing that we will receive an answer, praying with expectation of healing. I pray we trust our leaders and those that are making decisions for us. I pray for health and healing to each in their own capacity, be it health, finances, or otherwise. I also pray that we will be together soon, but in the interim, know that there is a purpose behind every prayer. On a side note, I miss my track and field team, and I am hopeful that they are continuing their workouts. I miss my Morningstar PE students, all my Hope B students, anatomy and physiology students, my homeroom, my best buddies club, and I miss my co-workers. Let's pray with expectation, Bishop Moore, and go Hornets. Bishop Moore, I've been asked if I would like to share a few thoughts with you, and I'll start with the mantra of the Black and Gold Brigade. Attitude is everything. It is the pessimist who sees the challenge in every opportunity. It is the optimist who sees the opportunity in every challenge. So remember, what you think is what you are. Stay positive. Be hopeful. Be strong. We're all praying for you here and cannot wait to see you back here on our campus. Let's go Hornets. And I know that that is how a lot of you guys are feeling at Bishop Moore, but Miss Goley is here to tell you that you are part of an amazing community, the Bishop Moore community, and we're going to be with you every step of the way. See you online. Hey everybody, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm thinking about you and I hope you know that we're all in this together and it's all really weird uncharted territory for everybody. And um, I really, really wish I was seeing you Monday. I'm not saying I like to get up at five o'clock in the morning, but I love to see your smiling faces. It really makes my life worth living. And I hope that I get to see them soon. Hey, this goes out to the Bishop Moore community. It's Mr. O'Grady. Just wanted to let you know I'm thinking of each and every one of you. Uh, my thoughts and prayers are with you all. Uh, we just need to keep a positive attitude. We'll definitely get through this, uh, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, so that way we can finish out the school year together. Uh, look forward to uh, doing that. And in the meantime, let's all just stay safe. Uh, once again, think of one another, keep a positive attitude and good things will happen. God bless. Hi Bishop Moore, I'm praying for you as well. When I think of you, the students, I imagine that many of you are probably afraid and anxious about school and other things that you're hearing in the media. So I want you to know that my prayer for you is that I pray that each one of you can find peace and calmness. If you're worried, try to take life one day at a time. Don't worry about all the what ifs. Try to refocus your thoughts on all your blessings and all the good things in your life. Trust in God and know that Mr. Brogan, myself, and all of your teachers are praying for you. 
What's up, Hornets? Coach Kuhlman here. To all our students, especially those students who feel like their season or their year or their dreams have been cut short or changed by what's been going on these last couple weeks, know how much of a gift you are. Each one of us, each one of you has so much goodness, so much beauty, so much light to share with those around you. And this doesn't change that. Nothing changes that. I know there's a temptation right now to think that because I can't do the things I want to do, I can't be with the people I want to be with, that I can't accomplish the things I want to accomplish in my life right now, that somehow this time is a waste or a failure. And nothing can be further from the truth. Sometimes we're caught thinking that our value or our worth or our beauty depends on the things we do each day, the things we can accomplish. But we know deep down that our value and our worth and our beauty never depends on the things we do, but it's on who we are on what's on our, in our heart, on the men and the women God has made us to be. And nothing changes that. This doesn't change that. Nothing in our life can take that truth away. God's dream for you, His love for you, His plan for you hasn't changed, and neither has ours. So know how much I love you, how much I'll be praying for you these next couple weeks. And know that you're not alone. Know that we're going to continue journeying together as one Bishop Moore family. Hello, Bishop Moore family. I hope you're doing okay during this time of uncertainty and change. I miss seeing you. I know it's difficult accepting the things that we cannot control, but remember, we can control how we react to these things. Please do not let what you cannot do stop you from doing the things that you can do. I hope you are at least enjoying being able to choose what you wear. Be well and have faith that this is temporary. Our routines will be different for a time, but with God's grace and supporting each other, we will get through this. You'll have to go back to wearing your uniforms before you know it. Peace and blessings. See you soon. To our Bishop Moore family, it is Sunday morning. I am preparing to celebrate Mass in an empty church. As I walk the property of Bishop Moore, classrooms are empty, the fields are empty, and under the pines is empty. But as I walk the property, the spirit of Bishop Moore lives on. The spirit of the students, the faculty, the staff, the administration, all who have shown such a strong will to educate, to pray, and to be faithful in generosity, in giving, and in being a part of this Bishop Moore family. In today's first reading from the first book of the prophet Samuel, Samuel tells the Israelites, God not only looks at the outside, but God looks deep into our heart. And when God looks into the heart of all of the Bishop Moore family, he sees not only a spirit, but he sees a love. He sees a family that is ready to help whenever we can. This is our strength. This is who we as Bishop Moore are. This is one more for the glory of God. And so, my sisters, my brothers, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And remember, one more for the glory of God.